I thought I'd come out to the park at dusk to tell you something about Nightjar Press. It seemed like a good idea, dusk being the time when nothing is quite what it seems, where a patch of mud in the middle of the grass could be a dog running towards you off the lead, where a clump of trees could be a small crowd of non-socially distanced people. The thing about Nightjar Press is that we like things that aren't quite what they seem. We're attracted to the uncanny, the gothic, and increasingly the experimental. And indeed, the intersection between the experimental and the uncanny, or the gothic. I'm interested in the possibility that there is something inherently uncanny in experiments in fiction. There, that's a very rough introduction to what Nightjar does.